Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel, Young Noodle Army. It's been a while, hasn't it? Well, it's been a week, but it felt like more than a week. It felt like two weeks. Now, I'm sure you've been wondering just where in the heckity heck have I been this past week? Well, it just so happens that I took a little family vacay over to the UK. I was over in the motherland. I was over in jolly old England. I was there for a little family bonding time. And one of my many highlights of my holiday over to the UK was a trip, a three hour trip, a very long train ride over to Warner Brothers Studios in Watford. And what was I doing there? <laughs> What was I doing there? Oh, that's right. I took part in the Harry Potter studio tour. It's a massive soundstage that's pretty much turned into a museum. And this museum contains most of the sets that were used in the actual filming of the movies, like the actual sets. Like they had the Great Hall, they had Hagrid's hut, the Gryffindor common room. They also had all the costumes. They had all the props. Like this is the actual, actual stuff that they used in the actual movies. Like if you're a Harry Potter fan, this is the ultimate experience. You literally cannot experience Harry Potter in a better way than you can at this studio tour. And whilst I was at this studio tour, a little light bulb went off my head. Uh, number one, you left the stove on, house is probably burned to the ground, but also I have a lot of old Harry Potter merchandise. And when I say old, I mean really, really old. I mean from the year 2000. Like I have merchandise from the year 2000 before the first movie ever came out. Now I'm not saying that this merchandise is rare, that it's worth thousands of dollars, although it's rare and it could be worth thousands of dollars. So basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you, you're gonna comment in the comment section whether you think this stuff is cool or not. Also, if you'd like to buy any of it, by all means, hit me up. My PayPal is on my homepage. Descriptions there, all the details are there. Send me money, I'll send some of this stuff to you. I'm desperate, please. Alrighty guys, as promised, this is all the Harry Potter merchandise. It is all from the year 2000. It is all very, very old. Some of it is in good condition, some of it's not. But that's fine because I was a snot-nosed kid when I first got all this stuff. So would you expect me to take care of a lot of porcelain? Probably not. But I think I did pretty well, considering everything else. All right, we'll start at the back. We have the Quidditch board game. This I never actually played because it's really, really complicated. And me being a snot-nosed nine-year-old, I just had no interest at all in getting stuck into this. Would I do it now that I am a, a lot older and I guess a lot smarter? Probably not. No, I'm not really interested in playing it, uh, but it's here. I'm pretty sure all the pieces are here. So, yeah. All right, moving on right next to it, we have the 550 piece puzzle. It has Harry and that horse guy, whatever his name is. I'm sure you Harry Potter fans are just gonna roast me in the comments completely for not knowing, but hey, I'll take it. Um, I did actually attempt to make this puzzle, so knowing me, there's probably 10 pieces missing, but it's still, it's a nice little box to have in the background for uh, a merchandise video, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't really serve much of a purpose, but it's a puzzle. I like, I kind of like puzzles. I like puzzles when I can do them and I don't really do this puzzle. Yeah. All right, let's move on. We have these things called Storyteller figurines. Now we have Harry, we've got Fluffy, we've got Hermione with her little feather. Got him, Leviosa. <laughs> References. And we have Ronald Weasley. It looks like he's holding a chicken drumstick or something. So what you do is you pretty much, you look through this thing here and there's like a little, there's a couple of slides in there that change when you, you scroll the little wheel. Um, yeah, and as you could probably make out, they don't really look like they do in the movies. like. Like, look at that. Ron is just ugly. So as I said, this all came out before the first movie was released. So this is basically the vision that JK Rowling had in the book come to life. Hey, how cute's that? And then it was just completely butchered in the movies. So there you go. Now these things I don't have the boxes for. Um, let's see what they're actually called. They are, whoop, they are nothing. That's Albus Dumbledore, I know that much. I'm not that much of a prat. Um, so yeah, we have Hedwig, we have Hagrid, and we have Dumbledore. 
Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is uh, <laughs> as if like a nine-year-old kid is going to keep this in good condition. Look at that. Oh, nothing a little hot glue can't fix, but for the meantime, uh, it's in not so good condition. But there, there you go. Look at, look at Hedwig. He's ready to fly away. Hagrid's got, ooh, he's got a Norbert egg. Ooh, that's funny. That brings us over here. We have these little trinket boxes. Now, these things, they all come in three parts, pretty much. Now, we've got the magical theory. Uh, it's broken. Whoops. Now, let's have a look inside. Magical theory. Oh, okay. What's this book about? Ah! That was scary. Got to return that. Hey, librarian, something's wrong with this book. This is the cool one. Let's have a look at this. Oh, let's... Oh, whoops. Let's put this on. Oh, goodness. Uh... Oh, screw it. Screw it. Okay, so this one again in three parts. Oh, I wonder what's inside. Hey, it's Norbert. Norbert the dragon. And what's in here? Nothing. Cool, man. That's wicked. But yeah, that's, that's the Norbert egg. Let's see if I can get it now. Oh, I got it. Oh, sick as. Look at that. I think that one's pretty neat. What else have we got? We've got the... This is the Mirror of Erised. Little damaged. Don't worry. Doesn't affect the value at all. Trust me, I checked. <laughs> Let's have a look. Harry's in there. And... Oh, cute. His dead family. Isn't that sweet? Can we put that away? Whoa! Let's have a look. Gringotts Bank. Knock, knock, knock. Uh, let me in. Oh, hello. Lots of cash. Do I have the key? Yes, I do. Hey, thieves! What the hell are you doing in there? Yeah, there you go. If we move these unboxed rejects out of the way, just stay out of it. Uh, we have a fine bone china mug and coaster. This I actually used. I used it once and I freaked out and I washed it and I put it back. So technically it's used. But if I was to ever sell it, I'm not going to list it as used. I'm going to list it as new because I'm a liar. Now, what's it got on there? It's got Harry playing Quidditch. It's got the Nimbus 2000 coaster. Yeah, nothing on the back. Don't know why I turned the box around. Let's move up here. This is probably my favorite piece. This is the Harry Potter snow globe. He is, of course, on his broom. And we see Hogwarts Castle. Now... It's missing a little bit, like just there. Just a little bit. But you know what, you could just say it's snow. Uh, hopefully nobody actually notices it in general. So there we go. It's a very, oh, let's bring it down here. It's a very, very big, ooh. It's a very big snow globe. It's very heavy. Slide it around. Look at that, look at the detail. You've got the, the trees, you've got the snow, you've got the, the rock. That lovely in detailed cliff. There he is, Harry. There's his little snitch. Yeah, you are a snitch, aren't you? You little punk. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is my favourite. I really, really enjoyed this one. And just to prove it, let's have a look at the bottom. Year 2000. Oh, sugar. Sugar, that, that's very heavy. That's very heavy. Also have the box for that too. So if you want it, hit me up, brah. And we've just got little stuff as well. Get out of the way, you know, hogs. Uh, I've got three of these. These just contain little uh, little stones. We've got goblin. We've got we've got scabbers. We've got a cauldron. They're they're just little collector stones. And I don't know how many there are, but I have three boxes, and I'm pretty sure they're all different as well. So that actually might be the whole collection. Take a look there. You got Hagrid. This one's a bit faded. Drank. Beta, oh, the invisibility cloak. That's that's pretty appropriate, actually, because I can barely see it. Living up to its name, for sure. And, oh, I've got doubles. I'll trade ya. I've got two cauldrons. Now, I've just got a little pointless stuff as well. This is a Birdie Bots uh, coin purse. Let's see if 10-year-old me was forward-thinking and put some money in here. Nope. Okay, idiot. Uh, there's... This little thing here is like a, a picture frame. It's got, ooh, what the hell are these? Oh, okay, they're, they're more uh, storyteller things. So you look inside those and 
they are paired with these, these things here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll go through it again very, very quickly. We've got the trinket boxes, we've got the Quidditch board game, we've got the puzzle, we've got the snow globe, we've got the mug and saucer. Saucer! And we've got the uh, storytellers, Harry, Fluffy, Hermione, and Ugly Ron. And these things. I feel bad because if I had the boxes for these, I feel like they would be a little bit more cherished. Look at that. Such great detail as well. Dumbledore is losing his wand. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like any of this, uh, you want to buy it, you go, go ahead and buy it. If you know how much it costs, also let me know because I would like to also know. Hey, there you go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Now all you spooky wizards, witches, goblins, trolls, and Republicans. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you slap a like on the video. Make sure you swish your wand and use it to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. Or if you want to see more stuff not like this, make sure you subscribe and that's it. That's all I've got time for today. I've got to go. I'm missing my potions class. <laughs> Whoa! Stupid.